Olivia Hodgson was sentenced to eight months for misconduct in a public office after she started a relationship with prisoner Lavarne Ford Morgan. The 26-year-old had been working in HMP Garth, in Leland, when she smuggled mobile phones into prison to communicate it with the inmate she was seeing, in 2020. In January 2021, Ford Morgan was transferred to another prison, where he was subjected to a cell search following intelligence received to the prison. A mobile phone was recovered and analysis evidenced that he had been in touch with another mobile number, later found to belong to Olivia Hodgson. In July 2021, Hodgson, of Hawthorne Road, Preston, was arrested at HMP Garth and her home address was searched. Officers seized another mobile phone which contained images of the pair, as well as a birthday card addressed to Olivia which had Ford Morgan's fingerprints on. Ford Morgan, who is currently serving a sentence for murder and possessing a shotgun and firearm with intent to endanger life, admitted to possessing prohibited mobile. Detective Constable Becky Pearson from the Northwest Regional Organized Crime Unit's Prison Anti-Corruption Unit said Olivia abused her position as a prison officer by choosing to have an inappropriate relationship with an inmate and she will now have to face the consequences of her actions. She acted in a calculated manner using a variety of numbers, phones and chat applications to try and evade detection. In doing so, she was able to continue the relationship with Ford Morgan despite him moving to another prison. Olivia knew right from wrong and had received adequate corruption training where she would have gained a good understanding of the criminal outcomes should a relationship be entered into with a prisoner. We will continue to take robust action and investigate any offenses which we suspect are taking place in our prisons. We want to reassure the honest, dedicated, and hard-working prison staff that we will continue to act against any member of staff who chooses to engage in corrupt activity. We encourage anyone who has information about corruption in our prisons to report it. Thank you for watching our crime update files help us to expand our reach on YouTube by subscribing and liking via the buttons below. It's absolutely free. A murder investigation has been launched after a 16-year-old boy was stabbed in West Ham Park, Forest Gate. Officers were called to the park at 17.30 hours on Sunday, July 9, to a report of a stabbing. On arrival, they found the victim with a stab wound and performed emergency first aid prior to arrival of London Ambulance Service paramedics and the London Air Ambulance. The victim was later transferred to an East London hospital, where he sadly died the following day. 14-year-old boy and 16-year-old boy were arrested on suspicion of murder. They were taken to an East London police station and were subsequently released on bail pending further inquiries. Two 16-year-old boys arrested on suspicion of attempted murder remain in police custody at this time. The boy's family has been notified, however. We await formal identification. Borough Commander for Newham, Chief Superintendent Simon Crick, said, This is a tragic and senseless murder of a young person in Newham. My thoughts at this time are with the victim's family and friends. As a father myself I can only imagine the pain they are suffering. This incident will send shockwaves through our communities and I appeal to the many people who will have been in the park at the time of the stabbing to come forward and speak to us about what they may have seen. We all have a responsibility to bring those who committed this senseless attack to justice. We have this evening arrested a man as part of our ongoing investigation into the murder of David Red in Blackburn. We were called to Lemington Road at 11.38am on Wednesday to reports of a sudden death. Emergency services attended and sadly found the body of 50-year-old David. Our thoughts remain with his loved ones. They are being supported by specially trained officers. Dedicated team of officers has been assigned to this case and following inquiries we have this evening Friday. June the 9th, arrested a 34-year-old man from Blackburn on suspicion of murder. He is currently in custody. Diddy Chief Inst. Mark Howarth Oates of the Force Major Investigation Team said, my thoughts remain with David's loved ones at this time. I cannot begin to understand the pain they must be feeling at this time. While we have now made one arrest our investigation is very much ongoing and I would appeal to anyone who can assist to come forward and speak to us. I am still keen to hear from anybody who knew David, particularly if they have had contact with him in recent days or have information that they think may assist our investigation. We are also appealing to anyone who saw anything suspicious during Tuesday and Wednesday in the Lemington Road area or has CCTV or dashcam footage covering those dates. 
Reassurance patrols will remain in the Lemington Road area over the weekend and anyone with information or concerns should feel free to approach an officer. DCI Hayworth Oates added, I appreciate there may well be some concern. Should feel free to approach an officer. DCI Hayworth Oates added, I appreciate there may well be some concern in the local area, but we do believe that Mr. Red was the victim of a targeted attack. I and my team will continue to investigate this appalling crime and we will not rest until we have brought those responsible to justice. In a tribute, David's family said, David was a lovely caring man and had a strong bond with his parents. He was known as the gentle giant and will be sadly missed by his family and friends. A man who attacked Peter Marico over a parking dispute has been convicted of manslaughter. Abdilaziz Marufi, 25 of Woodside, and Alperton, appeared at Harrow Crown Court on Wednesday, July 12, where he was convicted of manslaughter following trial. The conviction follows a murder investigation that was launched after 67-year-old Peter, known to family and friends as Frankie, died in hospital from injuries sustained during a disagreement about parking. Detective Inspector Louise Caven of the Met's Specialist Crime Command said, We don't know what made Marufi involve himself in the argument or why he resorted to extreme violence. Violence is never the right option, no matter what the disagreement, and anyone who allows their temper free reign in this way risks finding themselves in the same position as the defendant. Police had been contacted by London Ambulance Service at 1620 hours on Friday, September 9, 2022 saying they had taken an injured man to hospital from Abbey Industrial Estate in Alperton. Officers attended the industrial estate and a crime scene was put in place. They also attended the hospital where Peter Mareko was being treated for a life-threatening head injury. Sadly, he died in hospital on Monday, September 12. Detectives established that the victim worked at an industrial unit on the estate and had parked his car outside a nearby unit, where the defendant worked. The unwritten rule on the estate was that if a car needed to be moved, someone would toot their horn and the vehicle would be moved. However, on this day, the owner of the unit sounded his horn three times before Peter emerged from his workshop. An argument broke out between Peter and the owner of the unit. Marufi took it upon himself to get involved in the argument and pushed Peter four times. Despite others trying to defuse the situation and Peter backing away, Marufi punched Peter once in the face, causing him to fall backwards onto the floor, which in turn caused a significant head injury. Following Peter's death, a post-mortem examination concluded that he had died as a result of blunt force head injury. CCTV of the incident showed a Marufi arguing with Peter before punching him in the face. Abdilaziz Marufi was arrested on suspicion of murder on Monday, September 12. He admitted being the person involved in this incident, but suggested that he was acting in self-defense. Marufi was charged with murder and subsequently pleaded not guilty. He was remanded in custody to await trial. Detectives investigating a fatal stabbing at Molina Close, Hayes have charged a man. Adija 1 Olafimi Alexander Jnr Oyekin, 30 of Molina Close, Hayes was arrested on Tuesday, July 11 on suspicion of murder. On Wednesday, July 12, he was charged with the offence. Oyekin is remanded in custody to appear at Westminster Magistrates Court on Thursday, July 13. The charge relates to an incident on Tuesday, July 11 at a residential property in Malina Close. Hayes, a 54-year-old man was found inside the property at 4.33 hours with a stab wound. Despite the efforts of the emergency services, he sadly died at the scene.